And now it's time for the News 3 Sports Desk, sponsored by the Southern Nevada Toyota Dealers. Well, by now you've all heard the news that UNLV quarterback Matthew Sluka has left the program, pointing to claims of unfulfilled verbal NAL promises from a UNLV assistant coach as his reason for doing so. From there, most of the day turned into one of those he said, she said situations as the Sluka family, UNLV's NIL collective and the university all released statements to the matter uh, to the media. But tonight we finally got a chance to hear from Rebels head coach Barry Odom during his weekly coaches show on ESPN radio. Yeah, we all know that. I mean, we've had a roster change at the at the quarterback position and and uh, we're, we're certainly excited about the, the two that we have trained. Uh, for this moment, the opportunity they have now to run the offense. Clearly, coach isn't diving too deep into the matter. We'll have to wait till after the game on Saturday to get more from him on that, because tonight he chose to instead concentrate on the two quarterbacks who are on the roster, specifically Hodge Malik Williams and Cam Friel, who battled the Sluka for the starting job in the offseason. And coach says they're both prepared to take over the reins as QB1. The one the structure of how we practice is everybody's got equal reps from, from the time we started until today. Uh, which is exciting and, and whether it's injury or transfer or whatever it is, you understand that the next guy has that mentality that they've got to be ready to go run the offense or play field safety or whatever it is. In this case, it just so happens to be the starting quarterback for the undefeated Rebels who are ranked in the top 25 and for now are the group of five's favorite to claim a spot in the newly expanded college football playoff. A lot of weight to place on a new QB in the middle of a season, but Coach Odom says the team isn't fractured by Sloop's departure and instead rallied together today. We've got a really, really close locker room. I think uh, the leadership is very strong. We've got a mature team. And if I look at it, take a step back and look, probably our best Wednesday practice that we've had all year uh, on the offensive field today. So that was exciting to see. So we'll all see what that looks like come Saturday when the Rebs hit the field to try and put all this behind them in their conference opener against Fresno State. And speaking of the Mountain West, all this Sluka news was going down as the university was involved in the ongoing conference realignment saga with the Pac-12. But tonight, as college football insider Brett McMurphy reported, UNLV is expected to remain in the Mountain West and is also expected to receive a signing bonus from the conference between 25 and 30 million dollars from the pending exit fees that the Mountain West will receive from the schools bolting for the Pac-12. So obviously there is a whole lot going on over at UNLV in the last 24 hours. For now though guys, let's get it back over to you.